So I've mentioned in uh, previous videos about touch screens that I've seen out in the wild that I was able to find hidden menus on. Uh, well, the other day I was at a gas station that I normally go to that I've gone to for years. Now, they have a little screen that does little advertisements and stuff like that, and I never really thought much about it. Uh, it's not a touch screen. Um, the last time I was pumping gas when I was done, I was like, I wonder if there's a hidden key combination. So they have a number pad, I started hitting all the buttons, nothing happened, and they have menu buttons on each side of the screen to select something, and I wasn't really expecting anything to happen, because again, why would you need to be able to access any type of menu from there without opening up the machine? Well, just before I left, the last thing I did was I hit the two buttons at a time, one on each side of the screen all the way up, and the very last one I hit right before I left brought up a menu. Uh, and I didn't do much with it then, but we're going to go back now and see what comes up when we do that. Now for me to bring up this menu, I have to press two buttons, and the buttons are far enough apart that I need to use both hands. So it's going to be hard for me to film it, but I'll show you which buttons I'm pressing. Then I'll press them and show you the menu that comes up. Last time I did it, uh, I think two options came up in the menu, diagnostics and maintenance, and I left it at that. Let's go ahead and see what happens this time. So there we have it. I'm happy to see that there is a security code required, but still, I don't think there's any reason why you should be able to access these menus from the screen. You should have to put a physical key, open up the device, and then you can, uh, for maintenance, access that sort of stuff. To be able to do it right there, it's just ridiculous, especially on a device that, um, that does credit card transactions. So these sort of things are all around. We got to keep an eye out. Don't be afraid to touch buttons and see what's going on on devices you're using, especially if you're putting a credit card in it, because you may want to rethink it in certain cases. So again, at least there's a security code in here, but uh, I'm get betting it's probably like a four digit code, maybe six at most. It's going to be using a number pad. So it's just number. It's not alphanumeric. So it shouldn't be that hard for someone to break if they really want to. And who knows what you can do in those maintenance modes. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. I hope that you have a great day.